Take all the praise. Yeah. Take all the praise. Yes, I have come to say thank you, Lord. Give him a shout in this place.
Take all the praise. Yes. Take all the praise. Yeah. You deserve. Take all the praise. Call up our hearts, shall take it all. Take all the praise. Yes. Yes, I have come. To say thank you, Lord. Give him a shout in this place. Say a pleasant good night to all our beloved brethren and visiting friends. I just want to take this opportunity to wish each, each and every one of us a happy new year. Happy new year, beloved. We went through a year of so many challenges. We went through a year where there were ups and downs, but at the end of it all, we want to thank Almighty God because He brought us safely through it. Amen. And we are here tonight to celebrate a new year in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, beloved, I'm going to invite us to stand where we're going to start off tonight's service with a psalm. And then I'm going to have an opening prayer. And then we're going to go into our worship tonight. Amen. I hope everybody come with a praise on their lips tonight. Because the psalmist David said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So I'm praying and trusting that we come with a praise tonight so that we can give God what is due unto his holy and matchless name. Amen. At this time, beloved, I'm going to invite us to stand as we turn our Bibles to Psalm 103. Psalm 103, as we're going to read it together. Psalm 103. Okay, beloved, I think we're going to do it responsively. I'm going to read the first. You read the second. I read the third. You read the fourth. And we're all going to read the 22nd verse in Jesus' name. Amen? Psalm 103. And it reads, Amen? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, Bless his holy name. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who 
who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Praise the Lord. For, as, for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. The Lord had prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless he the Lord, all he is host, his ministers of his that do his pleasures. All together. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Shall we praise the Lord, beloved? Shall we praise the Lord, beloved? God has been good to us. Amen? More than we even deserve at time. He's a merciful God. Amen? God will operate like how we will operate. We operate outside of our realm. Amen? Amen? Bless the Lord. So tonight as we are gathered, I'm inviting us as we're going to start tonight's worship. We're going to have a word of prayer. In Jesus' precious name. So let us pray. Eternal Father, our God, we lift up your name on high. We give you praise and thanks. Even for bringing us here tonight to celebrate another year, mighty God. Father, we thank you, O God, for all your wonderful blessing that thou hast bestowed upon us. And we pray, O God, that your holy presence is going to lead and guide us and direct us, Heavenly Father. We ask, O God, for your strength as we go through the week, the, the, the years ahead, the days ahead. And we pray tonight, mighty God, that your name, O God, be lifted up and glorified. I pray, O God, for all of my brethren. I ask, mighty God, that we're going to bless each and every one of them, O God. And even the visitors likewise, I pray a blessing upon them tonight likewise. That we all, oh God, can celebrate Jesus tonight, loving Master. We ask, mighty God, that your name be lifted up, your name be glorified, loving Master. I pray, oh God, for the one that is bringing the word likewise. I ask that thou will bless him, oh God, so he can minister the word. Thus saith the Lord. Even the singers, I pray for them likewise. The musicians, likewise, mighty God. Even myself, likewise, mighty God. I ask, oh God, that everything be done to your honor, to your praise, and to your glory. We give you all the praise and thanks. And we are coming. We ask, mighty God, that thou will bring them safely likewise, so they too can come and fellowship and give you all the praise that is due unto your holy and matchless name. So we lift you up on high. We give you all the glory that is due unto you. We bless your name. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we praise our beloved? Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. Tonight we're going to just give God praise because we know what he has done for each and every one of us. As we celebrate tonight... We pray, God, that God is going to bless us and give us strength as we continue to prosper, as we continue to strive to enter into the kingdom of Almighty God. Amen? Bless the Lord. We're going to start tonight. We're going to take this hymn, song number 59, our hymnals. Amen? We're going to take that song, Revive Us Again. We praise thee, O God, for the Son of thy love. For Jesus who died 
and is now gone above. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Revive us again. Bless us. We ask him for revival tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. We praise thee, O God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus, who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, thy glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thy glory. We're going to take that verse again.
praise. Shall we praise him, beloved? Glory to his name. We ask him that he's going to revive Glory us because we don't know what lies ahead. Amen? But no matter what it entails, if we have that revival, beloved, we're going to make it true. Amen? Because at the end of the day, we all are striving to enter into the kingdom of Almighty God. Amen? Before we have a welcome, I want us to sing that lovely song, Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate. Amen? It's a tradition, New Year's song. Amen? So we're going to sing Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate, because we are here to celebrate Jesus tonight. Amen? Bless the Lord. Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate Celebrate Jesus,
I invite you to come and celebrate the new year. It may sound strange, amen? But it's the new year, amen? Bless the Lord. This time we're going to have a... You may have your seats, beloved. Bless the Lord, amen? God has been good, amen? I want to thank God for his mercy, amen? Well, I just want to take the opportunity to welcome each and everyone in the house of God tonight. Amen. Amen. Friends, family, visitors, well-wishers, we are indeed happy to have you with us tonight to celebrate the new year with us. We pray that God is going to bless you and at the end of tonight, you might want to ask some kind of question. Glory, if any question you ask, long as it's like we can prove it from the will of God. Amen. So you can ask a question and see, you know, why we celebrate the New Year? Is because we just pick a date? Is because we just feel, you know, to just do something vikey vikey? Bless the Lord, Amen. But in the Scriptures, the Bible tells us in the book of Exodus chapter twelve and the second verse, it said, "This month shall be unto you." The beginning of months, it shall be the first month of the year to you. Amen. When the children of Israel was leaving Egypt, the Lord gave them an instruction to kill, take a lamb from the first year. From their flock, a sheep, a goat, or a sheep. And they also keep it up to the 14th day. And they also kill it. Amen? And then, when you kill it, you're supposed to put it over the lentil or the doorpost of your house. And the dead angel will not pass through your, your house and kill your firstborn because that was one of the plague that was given unto. Moses stood for the children of Israel. And they did that and they came out of bondage. And the Bible is have in all through the scriptures there are 12 months laid out in scriptures in the Bible. But this first month is so important to us because after the first one, on the fourth, after we take the lamb on the first to the tenth day and then kill it, the Bible tells us that on the fourteenth day, you have to kill it. Now, this is significant to us because on the fourteenth day, we have what we call the Passover, the Lord's Supper. And this is important to the children of God, people of God, because it was instituted back then when Jesus took the, 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 the supper and then instituted the Lord's Supper where Judas went and betrayed him. And we all know the story of it. That is why we celebrate the first month of Habib. It is important for us because we recognize the 14th day after that, the 14th day. That is why I tell him, keep it up until that time. To kill it, and so that the Lamb will not pass over. So it's a symbolic thing for the people of God to keep the Passover, which was during the Lord's Supper, when Jesus instituted it back in, in his time. That's why it's important that we keep the first day, which is the new year. Now, springtime, now the Bible have its own calendar. Now, how the Bible counts its months is by the moons. And the world counts it differently. But we count it by the moon. And when you count it by the moon, you will get all the months that is coming down there so that we will be able to identify the first month of the year. And that's why we celebrate tonight the new year. The New Year starts in springtime. It's not, it doesn't start in January or 
wherever. It starts in springtime. So that's why we celebrate the new year. And that's why we are here tonight to give God some praise because he kept us safely through another year. So we are here tonight to give him praise and to worship his name in Jesus' precious name. Amen? Amen. Bless the Lord. It's good to be here tonight. God has been good to us. I pray that God is going to bless us with abundance of love and peace and joy and happiness so that we all can enter into his kingdom of God. And our visitors, I want to encourage you to try Jesus. Amen? Amen. You might have tried all sorts of things in your life, but I want you to try Jesus. Amen. He never fails. Amen? Amen? He answers in three ways. Yes, no, or wait. That's how our Lord and Savior Jesus answered. So we got to give him praise and thanks for what is your his holy and righteous name. Bless the Lord. So now, beloved, I'm going to invite us to stand after. Oh, before I forgot. You see these lovely decorations that we have here? We want to thank the women of the church for the hard work. Amen. Thank the women of the church for the hard work. Amen. It looks good. I know, I know after, I know after the women, I know after they're going to take out some pictures and things so forth. And then my puff a little balloon and thing. I don't know if it has champagne in between, but we're going to see how things go. Amen. But it, have, it looks lovely. Amen. Bless the Lord for them. Give God praise, beloved. Yeah. Bless the Lord. At this time, beloved, we're going to stand as we're going to take this song. Song number 413 in our songbooks. Oh, land of rest for thee, I sigh. When will the moment come? When I shall lay my armor by and dwell at peace at home. We'll work till Jesus come. Amen. Bless the Lord. Song number 413 in our songbooks. And we're going to go after our sisters. In Jesus' name. Oh, land of rest for thee I sigh when will the moment come when I shall
so, so, we, so, so we could have the preacher now, amen? So we could have the preacher now, we could have the pastor, amen? We could have the pastor now, amen? Amen? We could have the pastor now, amen? We could have the pastor Amen. Amen. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of the
God's way, not part of our life, but the rest of our life in Jesus' precious. Bless the Lord. You may have your seats, beloved. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. This time I'm called Sister Sonia. Then Sister Una. Then Brother Vonrick. Then Brother Fabrice. And then we're going to go from there. Amen. So we have Sister Sonia. Shall we praise our beloved? Hallelujah, praise be to you, almighty Yahweh. Thank you, Lord, for having us here, especially me. Last year, like now, so I wasn't able to be in New Year's service. I was in Trinidad. Come on now. Mm. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I can be in your courts to, to give you praise. I was diagnosed with a rare condition. They call it myxomia. That is a growth in the heart. <laughs> when I asked the doctors, why is it a rare case and they are custom doing heart cases in Trinidad? He named all the different cases that they are custom dealing with, but this one, it's rare because you have to cut the heart to get out what was growing in the heart. Bless the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for hearing our prayers. Brethren and visitors, prayers went up to the Lord for me. Amen. And everybody know if it wasn't for prayers where I would have been today. Just imagine they're not accustomed to dealing with this kind of situation, so they didn't even have the patch to patch back the heart in Monco. Mm -hmm. They had to bring in a doctor from away to work the machine that was working for the heart while the heart was being cut to get out that tumor that was growing inside of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank the Lord for my brethren who was praying for me, and I know it's because of the prayers that I was sent up to God for me. I was able to go through that surgery. Amen. I'm here to be a living testimony Amen. of the goodness and greatness of Almighty God. Ah, I want to praise him tonight with a song. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord, for all the things that you have done. I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. Thank you. 
shout about everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. I just want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning in the land of the living. I want to thank him for help. I want to thank him for strength. I just want to thank him. I want to thank you, the pastor, his wife and his children, the deacon, his wife and his and the whole congregation. Bless them, Father Jesus. Bless my neighbors and my friends. Bless everyone. Because why <laughs> I've been there and I've done that, you know. I just came out from the world and let's get come here and I get saved. After God. I just want to thank God. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord, beloved? Some of you don't know the story about Brother Von Rick, amen? But he's come a mighty, 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 mighty long way, amen? When Brother Von Rick walked into this church, some moons back. Look at him now. We want to know that's the same man that walked inside of here. Amen. So shall we praise our beloved? Sister Una, in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Happy New Year to one and all. Testimonies of the goodness of God. I was born into this church, well, you know, called a horn baby, as a baby in the church. And you know, sometimes you make a decision in life that isn't healthy, right? The adults will be talking to you and you feel that you know more than the adults. Youths, listen to your parents. Listen to the adults because they would see what you wouldn't see. Right? And I made some wrong decisions in my life. I ended up going out into the world. Doing things that I should not have been doing. Going to all the fets, the parties. As the young people will say, she blinging out. Right? But youths, praise the Lord all the days of your life. Serve him in your youth. You have all the strength. Right? And I was out there. Sometimes you know you're going in the party. You're dancing and wherever, but your mind will reflect back to how it, to the teachings. You would not be, I was not comfortable. I was trying to be comfortable. But you cannot be comfortable out in the world when you have the teaching, when you've got the teaching from the church. I stopped going to church. I said, mm, I made a decision. I said, okay, this church formed down here. I wasn't too keen about coming. One day in class, I had a sewing class. Sister Georgia was in class. And she said, Sister Una, you had to come to church. I said, okay, I go come Saturday. Here she alive. I said, no, I go come Saturday. Then I called my sister, Sister Mo. I said, Gemma, you know what? I go into church Saturday. She said, which church? I said, Bethel. I go into Bethel. Here she is. You know, when you start to go Bethel, you cannot stop going to Bethel. And I laughed. Right? I called my big brother, Brother Joe, he's in the congregation now. I said, big brother, pass and pick me up to go to church. He asked me the same question, which church? I said, Bagatel. I said, I'm Bethel. So, I came the Sabbath. I came just to sit and fellowship, take in the service, and then 
when you see the Lord have a plan for you, what can get away from you? Sister Delisa got up. She came up to um, do a special. I sat there. She started off with the goodness of God. I tried to hold back myself. But something, I don't, the Spirit of God arrested me that Sabbath was the 1st of October 2020. I will never forget that day. And Sister Delisa sang that song and her other song she sang. What a beautiful name it is. And the spirit take over me. I could not have stayed in my seat. I had to come up here and renew my vow with God. And from that day, I haven't stopped coming to church. I rededicated my whole life to God. And I thank everyone for the encouragement. The encouragement that were given to me. God is so good. He is so good. I can testify of many things that he did for me. When I returned back here, one thing I will tell you all, I had owed Scotia Dan some money. COVID came and mashed up everything because, you know, I was getting a revenue from sewing. And people not going to parties and so on. Everybody wore. Nobody ain't getting worn work suits. So... How the revenue wasn't coming in, and that was doing real injuries. I said, Lord, what will I do? Sometimes I see they calling me, and I say, I just ask them this thing. They call, what am I answering and tell them? And one day, I got a call. I answered the phone, it was Scotia Bank. I didn't know that number. was Scotia Bank. When I answered the phone, he says, um, we are trying to reach Miss Lynch Pitchford. I said, I'm that person. We realize that you are having problem paying the loan. What is the reason at all? So I said, okay, let me work out something for you. The credit card, can you pay 2600 and I can't remember the change. It was 2,600. But the debt on the credit card was 18,000. I said, sure. I went in the same said we can pay that money. Then the other loan was 20 something thousand. They asked me if I could pay 6,000 change. I said, yes. And I went and I paid the money. And I'm not owing Scotia Bank anymore. Yeah. If I see the number calling, I am saying, quick, quick. <laughs> right? Without any fear. And I thank the Lord for what he has done for me. People, we need to take God seriously. Seriously, we have to take God seriously because he looked out for his children. And I haven't regret the decision I made in returning back to God. All my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so the goodness of God. Shall we praise the Lord, beloved? Shall we praise the Lord, beloved? 
She said, when I feel if you know that number, I won't answer that phone. You know? Because when I see they call me, I don't answer. But I give God praise and thanks for you, sister. Amen. I pray that God is going to continue blessing you and keeping you. Amen. Brother Fabrice. Amen. He's a young man who I love to hear play the pan. And I pray God is going to continue blessing him so that he can continue praying for him. I know he's going to touch some lives tonight. And he's fun. Amen. So take it away, my brother. I don't know if you want to say anything, brother. You want to say anything, my brother?
Come on, say. We can do better than Amen. Remember what I said before, Amen. That part was talking, Amen. That part was talking, Amen. And I love to hear that young brother play that part, Amen. It speaks to us in so many languages, Amen. I want to thank the Lord for you, my brother. I trust that God is going to continue blessing you so you can continue praying for him. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord, beloved? Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was real good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, there are so many visiting friends and visiting brethren in the house tonight. It is time for special testimony that we are having here. I'm going to invite any visitor who would like to come forward and share something with us. Any visiting brethren who would like to come forward and share with us something for the new year. Amen? For God has been good. You cannot come from so far and then leave something with us. Amen? And our visitors, you can't come from so far, so near, and still leave something with us. Amen? Amen? No, I don't want to call nobody. Amen? Amen. So, I hope I'm visiting brethren. Amen? And a visitor can come and give us something. In your pressure. Amen? Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, church, man. Come on. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, sister. Praise God. Hallelujah. I will pick you out tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. God's been good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God declares. You see when I walk through those doors? He says to enter. 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 With thanksgiving. His courts with praise. Hallelujah. Your fears can be drooping. When you come into the church of God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. It's a new year. It's a new year. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I might sound crazy, but I'm crazy for my God. Hallelujah. Glory. Might look strange to some people. Don't see me like this, but I am excited when I'm in the house of God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. He is worthy. He is worthy. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody, somebody, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Give God his worship, hallelujah. Give God his praise, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yay, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh my God. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. My God. I've heard some come up and testify of coming back to the Lord. 
A lot of people don't make it back. So you better thank God. Hallelujah. I've heard some come up and say that how the God has helped them through their sickness and healed them because of prayers. Hallelujah. I don't know many of our situations inside that I could talk for me. If I start now, I could talk the whole night through. Hallelujah. Look down the road and I wonder and I wonder and I wonder I look down the road and I wonder how far I was from God so I buckle up my shoes and I journey and I journey and I journey I buckle up my shoes and I journey I journey Be thy name. 
Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hey. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hey. You can't stay still when you come in church, brother. Hallelujah. You can't stay still. Hey. As pastor will tell me, when the world celebrating the carnival and doing all they're doing, they're going nights, nights, no rest. And when we come in church, you want to play stush. Oh God, oh no, 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 no. You're mad. Give God all the glory. Said so everything that had breath, praise the Lord. You're breathing, you're alive. You're well, you're not six feet under the ground. Give God glory. Hallelujah. Hey. Well, it warm me up in here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Young people, give God the glory. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Well, the collation to come yet. Praise the Lord. Amen. That, that, that. I looked down the road was my song to close, Brother Khalil. <laughs> I looked down the road was my song to close, Brother Khalil. <laughs> that was my song to close, Brother Khalil. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That's how spirit work at times. Amen. Praise the Lord, beloved. Amen. Shout hallelujah, beloved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, beloved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is there any visiting visitor who would like to come forward and share a song with us? A testimony? Bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. All right. So we're going to move along in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Bless the Lord. At this time, beloved, we're going to have a scripture reading. Bless the Lord. We're going to have a scripture reading. It's taken from the book of Ruth. May we all stand, please, as we read the word of God. Ruth chapter 1, 5 and 6. Ruth chapter 1. Before Samuel and after Judges. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6 is a nice scripture reading. Praise the Lord, we're going to go after, I'm going to go after 4. In Jesus' precious name, hallelujah. Ruth, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6 reads, Amalon and Chilion died also, both of them. Verse 1. Okay, verse 1, verse 5 and verse 6. Ruth, chapter 1, verse 1. Verse 5 and verse 6. Okay, praise the Lord. So it read, Ruth chapter 1, verse 1 read. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judea, went to sojourn in the country of Moab. He and his wife and his two sons. Verse 5 and 6. And Marlon and Chilion died also, both of them. And the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited his people in giving them bread. Shall we praise the Lord, beloved? May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his holy words. Shall we praise the Lord? Before we have our worship team, 
We want to take up our offering tonight. Amen. We just want to take up our offering tonight for the furtherance of the work of the ministry. Amen. Whatever little is accepted. Amen. Whatever big is accepted likewise. Amen. Whatever you can give is accepted. If it's too might, is accepted. Amen. Bless the Okay, beloved, so we're going to invite the worship team to come forward. We're going to try to do it. And after that, amen, we're going to invite the worship team to come forward. While they are singing, we're going to have the offering collected. And after the worship is finished, we're going to hear straight, we're going straight to the pastor with the word for tonight. Amen. So we're going to have the worship team come forward. And as they, we pick up the offering, after the worship is finished, we're going to have the pastor is going to bring the message for tonight in Jesus' precious name. Happy New Year, brethren, and to our visitors. Happy New Year. Bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. You know, you can stand and worship with us once the worship is coming from the heart. Could we stand in the house of God as we worship the King? Could we all stand in the house of God as we worship the King? We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord, brethren. We bless the Lord.
above all other gods, we lay your crowns and worship you. Oh, be lifted. Oh, be lifted above. one more time. Oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious God. He's not a man that he should lie. Not a son of man that he should repent. Oh, glorious God. Just one more time. Oh, glorious God.
because he's God all by himself. Hallelujah, we worship you. We worship your majesty, Lord. Glory to your name. I wish somebody could worship God. I wish somebody could worship God tonight. Knowing that God has brought you through another year. Somebody say, safely through another year. God has brought us another way. Let us now a blessing seek while you're in his courts today. Another year. Turn to your neighbor. Slap somebody. Stay in another year. Another year. Another year. I made it. I made it. I made it. Come on, somebody. Say, I made it. I made it. Oh, you made it, sister. You made it, brother. The devil had a plan for your life, but you made it. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Bow with me in prayer. Heavenly Father, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, tonight we lay our crowns before you. We take off, Almighty oh God, the things that exalt our own selves, and we lay it at your feet, knowing that now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory, hallelujah, forever and ever. Hallelujah, mighty God. I ask you for a word tonight. I humble myself under your authority. And I ask you, mighty God, to use me according to your will. Let your word go forward with power and with might, convicting every soul and every heart that they will turn to you, mighty God. I cannot preach unless you give me the utterance. I cannot go unless you send me, mighty God. So I pray, oh God, send your man forward, your man servant forward, Lord. Don't send me empty tonight. I pray that you load me up, mighty God, with the 66 books, the lies, the live wrongs, mighty God. Line me up and send me forward, Lord. Who would go for us? Father, I ask you today, send a life call from your altar. Touch my tongue that I will speak a word. Not my will, but according to your will, Lord. I pray that a fresh anointing fall fresh, O oh God, to be upon me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon me. As I humble myself in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. As you seed, worship God. As you keep your seed, worship God. Clap your hands, somebody. Worship God. Give God a glory. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. I was supposed to do a song to it. Oh, mighty God. But it looked like I can't sing tonight. There was enough singing. Amen. Now it's time for the word. Tell somebody next to you. It's time for the word. You can't go empty now. It's time for the word. Because my Bible says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways is by taking heed to the word. Glory be to God. We recognize now that in this modern time the world has been starving for something. Oh glory be to God. The world has a need. Hey, when I look into my society when I look into the community I see a need in the world today. When I look at the crime situation. When I look at villages. When I look at Trinidad. But when I look at Tobago, glory be to God, I recognize that this world needs Jesus. But my Bible says that there would be a famine. Oh, come on, somebody. A famine not for bread, nor for water, because I still see houses being built. I still see brand new cars. Oh, come on, somebody. Driving our nation road. I still see people dressing up and going out. But hey, 
hey, hey, hey. I'm not seeing righteousness. I'm not seeing holiness. I'm not seeing people desiring, hallelujah, that God lives within them. And this is what God looks for. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is running to and fro tonight. And he's looking for folks tonight that would serve him. Amen. Glory be to God. So if you're in the house of God tonight and you're here to give God alone the glory and the praise, shout hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Praise the name of the Lord. I can't even sing my song tonight. But I still thank God because the word is what I came to do. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of God. The Bible says that the word of God is quick. And sharper than any two-edged sword. So I'm going to be quick tonight and sharp. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Quick and sharp according to the word. Tonight we celebrate, hallelujah, the beginning of months, hallelujah. The Bible says to you, it's going to be the beginning of months. To who it, he spoke to? He spoke to the children of Israel as they left Egypt. At a very particular point in their life, God told them, listen to me, I'm giving you something new to go forth now. To the rest of the world, they celebrate New Year's anyhow. But to you, the people of God, I've called you to be different. I've called you to be righteous. I've called you to be holy. I don't call you to be like everybody else. So what I've called you for, walk as I have called you to. Bless the name of Jesus. So he says to you, the beginning of months, if you search your scriptures, now Exodus chapter 13, it tells us, verse 4, the month is the month of Abib. It is the beginning of months unto you. And Abib means green, a newness, amen? That's why I'm wearing a green tie tonight. I had to look for it because I have to demonstrate tonight that this is something new. What I'm going to do tonight is about something new. I know plenty of us may have an old car. Ask my father. He came complaining to me about an old car he have. And they say if it's one thing you can't fight up with is an old car. I'll stop right there, amen? Amen? Should say amen. 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 You can't fight up with old car. We'll stop right there. Because old car is worries. And when you have, better Ryan, stop laughing in the house of God. We bless. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Brother Johnson know what I'm talking about. So he's trying to kill the smile. But they can still see it in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. They said don't fight up with an old car. So when you have an old car, what you do? You want to get rid of it. Amen. So somebody will go up by Massimoto. Oh, come on somebody. Can I speak to somebody tonight? And you will walk into the showroom. And you will say give me something new. Turn to your neighbor. Say give me something new. I'm fed up of the old thing man. The same old breakdown man. I break down yesterday. I break down the day before. And I'm fed up now. I need something new. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I look forward to this new year. Because last year gave me too much trouble. Last year gave me too much problem. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. This, evening, this morning, I woke up happy and excited. I see a prayer. I see my son leaving the house. And he stand up by the door. I feel so good in my spirit. And I see he close his eyes. And he begin to pray in front of the door. I walk up to him. I hold him. I said, blessed be the name of the Lord. You're making your father proud. Come on now. And as he leave, I said, today is going to be a good day. Because today is the last day I will experience this negativity. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say something new. Something new. I don't know where I'm going. I ain't touched the word yet. But anyhow, I begin to drive down the road because I had to drop some stuff off at the church. And I begin to come through by um, that place down by Mount Irving there uh, through the golf course. And I'm feeling happy in my spirit. And I'm feeling nice and good. And I'm coming up smiling and singing a little song that I was rehearsing for tonight. But I can't sing the song. Come on, somebody. I started rehearsing my little song. And then when I reach up now, when I almost exit the golf course, right in front of my vehicle, a coconut come out of nowhere, straight out, straight 
in front of the vehicle, almost mash up my van, I jump out the van, I take up the coconut, and I put it in my van. Tonight, I'm going to put it in a pot because God says something new. Glory to God. Something new. What was meant to destroy me. God is going to turn it around. Uh, for my good. Uh, tell somebody next to you. What was meant for evil. God is going to turn it into good. The devil tried to stop me with a coconut. But I thank God. Uh, as he said it down. Uh, I opened the car door. I said thank you Jesus. You want to mash up my fan. But thank you Lord. I throw it in the trunk. I tell Sister Karin, look it in the back. Eh? We're going to cut it later. And we're going to make a stew down. That is Sister Karin, for those of you who don't know. My beautiful wife. We're going to stew down some curry fish or something in, in, with that coconut. Amen. Because what was meant to destroy me, eh? God turn it around. He turned it wrong. Eh? He turned it wrong for me. Hey, God is going to turn around something this year. Hey, young man, God is going to turn around something in your life. Something that was meant to destroy you. God is going to turn it around this year. Declare it in the house of God. Sister Solomon, wear your green with proudness. Tell him this year. Oh, come on. When you see the devil running up and he coming next to you, say, not this year. Not this year. God is going to turn it around. Whatever is meant for evil will be for my good. Bless the name of Jesus. Yeah, glory. Not this year. Not this year. I've been through too much last year. Oh, come on. Problems every minute. Every time I turn, trouble. Trouble on me right. Trouble on me left. Not this year. Hey, glory be to God. Let me touch my Bible now. Where have I been? Turn your Bible. I didn't put a headline, but I should call this sermon not this year. Somebody say not this year. Help the preacher. Help the preacher. Say not this year. Not this year. I've been through too much. For those that are visiting with us, you can also make the declaration. Let it be a new beginning for you. In the book of Ruth, let me get with the word, hallelujah. That's why I can't sing, because I got the word in my soul. Hey, sometimes I don't want to preach, but when I get to understand the word, Jeremiah said, it is like a fire. Shut up in my bones. I can't keep silent, but I sure when I can't keep still, I'm just going to preach a word. Somebody urged me to, to keep quiet a little bit and take it down, right, Brother Johnson? And take it down a little bit. But there's something about the word of God that eats up a fire in my engine, and I got to keep going. Amen? In the name of Jesus. Say, not this year. The book of Ruth. Let me take it on a little bit. I'll be quick. Very soon I'll be out your way. Verse 1 says, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges rule that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab. He, his wife, and his two sons. If you understand geographical locations and you understand the word of God, you know now that Judah, Bethlehem of Judah, is in the country of Israel. Amen? It's a very precious location because it's right there bounded with Jerusalem. Somebody say Jerusalem. And if you understand where is Jerusalem or what Jerusalem means, it's the city of God. Amen? It's a place where God has his eyes upon. Hey, come on. It's where the Bible says that he has his name written there. Come on. Can I speak to somebody who know the word tonight? If you know the word tonight, then you can agree with me that Jerusalem was a very precious place, close to Almighty God. And the Bible says that while they were in Jerusalem, hallelujah, that there was a famine. And I want to ask the church to 
tonight. Hallelujah. Sometimes in your life, you may be at a place, hallelujah, where God put you, where God placed you, where you believe that his eyes are on you, where you believe that he's taking care of you, where you believe that he has his name written there, but all of a sudden, in the place that God's eyes is, oh, come on, somebody, there is a famine. Oh, glory be to God. How can that be? A place that God Almighty protects. You don't understand the word tonight. Because my Bible says, as mountains are around Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. Uh, uh, don't you understand the word now? Are you getting where I'm coming from now? It's a protected region by God himself. But somehow, that place receive a famine. Can I tell you something? I say sometimes, hallelujah, you're walking with God. You're talking with God. But there comes a moment of testing. There comes a moment, hallelujah, when you must go through something. Even if you're a child of God, protected by the Holy Ghost, surrounded by his hands. Come on, somebody. Trouble comes your way. Trouble comes your way. But my Bible says, weeping may endure for a night. Can I speak to somebody? But there is always joy. Keep your heads up. Look up to God Almighty. Don't give up on him. The Bible says there became a famine in the land where God's protection is. Mercy Lord. But you know what has happened to plenty of us? We'll start looking at our children. Oh, come on, somebody. They're looking hungry. We're looking at the situation. The situation real bad. Oh, come on, somebody. We begin to look at our, at our income. We see the, the, the account dry now. And we now say, hey, we can't remain under God's protection. Am I talking to now? Hey, come on, somebody. Because my Bible says that this man that was called Elimelech, he take his wife and his two boys. When he see water more than flour, when he see hunger taking over, brother Ryan, he said, hey, I can't depend upon God now. Hey, who am I speaking to? He decided that I have to leave this protected landmass. I have to leave this geographical location and I have to sojourn in the land of Moab. Uh, a place of sin, a place of idolatry, a place where they don't even know God. How many believers today uh, leave off God uh, because of a little trouble? Church people, come on, somebody bad talk you, yeah? and you roll out of church, roll out of the protection of Almighty God because of a little trouble. Some of you say, I ain't going back to church because of trouble. You've been hurt by church and you're not going back because of trouble. So you run to Moab. Mighty God of Daniel. This man, hallelujah, take up his family and he gone to Moab. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Can I tell you something, church of God? Listen to me, remain under the protection of Almighty God. This year, when trouble come into your life, sing praises. When problems in your life, give God more glory. I'm saying stop the running, but stand up, stand up in the name name of the Lord on Christ the solid rock a stain all of the ground is sinking sand don't run to mob talk about people in the house of God a tired sick church people run down by all house they leave they believe in God almighty and they run down the road to the Obia house. Hey, come on, there are some people when the problems get tough, they say, You see this two dollars here? I ain't putting this in the tights basket. I'm going by the lotto boot. Come on now, who are talking to now? Hey, if it's fall in your garden, take it. I can't put this two dollars in collection today. I prefer to line up by the playway machine. Who am I talking to tonight? Glory be to God. And you prefer to take a chance on the devil's side? Not this year. Tell somebody. 
Not this year. Not this year. Not this year. Hear, O oh Israel, the Lord our God is one God. I know, oh, come on, and thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. That is a true believer. Today we are believers believing halfway. You know, we're taking God halfway. <laughs> we're giving him a little 5%. Amen. <laughs> oh, come on. Somebody say back pain about that. <laughs> yes, they say 5% and 4%. Bless the name of the Lord. But you need to take God at his word. He said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Come on now. I say you might go through the Job situation where you feel the whole world is crashing in on you. But I'm saying, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Glory be, I almost sing that song, you know. Hey, hold on to Jesus. Don't let go. Hey, turn to your neighbor, said, not this year. I'm not letting go this year. I may have let go last year, but not this year. I may have given up a little bit. Come on, husbands. Hey, turn to your wife now. Hey, come on, some husbands in the house. Turn to your wife, say, baby, not this year. Honey, darling. Not come on, hey, 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 what to the husbands? Husbands, now turn to your wife. Say, darling, not this year. God, hundred. Say, God, one hundred. Amen. Bless the Lord. This man, take your family, go on down more, go on down in the land of Moab, and think things go get better. Let me just paraphrase this story because time running out on us. Amen? Husband dead. Money started to get short. Dung in Moab. Strange land. Oh, God. Dung in Moab. Let me tell you, there are some little gods. Sir. You had to come up. Dust off the little cobweb from the, from the God. You had to make sure, open the window frame on mornings and make sure the light coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some other little ones that used to put in their pocket. That's the land of Moab. They have all kind of idols that they worship. Oh, come on, somebody. I say, when you leave the house of God, take heed, church of God. Whenever you decide to leave church and leave the house of God, you will go into idolatry. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't let go, God, for one moment. Because idolatry awaits you. You will start serving other gods. You will start believing other things and other myths. Amen. But I believe in the most high God. All the other gods, they are the works of men. But I serve the most high God. There is none like unto him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So down in the land of Moab, husband dead now. Income start getting shorter. Hey, come on. So she said, oh, come on, boys. You all need to get married. Because for you all to get a job in this country, you know what things work, right? Immigration. You have any officers in here tonight? Amen. For you to get a job in this country, you must be getting married to one of our citizens. Amen. This may not be the case in the land of Moab, but Marlon and Chilean get married. And things start getting even worse because Marlon died and Chilean died. And they leave a poor widow woman to battle in a land full of idols. And all she could have done was just sit around with two little girl pitney. Amen. Yes, I'm talking to some, some song tonight. For those of us who could understand our little language, the daughters-in-law, this was all that she had. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And as she, as she, she nurtured them, she said, listen me, I can't have any job. I am a I will be unemployed in this land because I am a widow one. I have no husband. I have no right to this land. Why am I staying here? But the Bible says in verse 6, and then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return to the country, uh, hallelujah, to the country of Moab. For she had heard 
She will return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord has visited her people in giving them bread. What she have heard now is that what was actually taking place back home in Jerusalem. Uh, can I speak to somebody? While she was sitting in Moab, she heard what was taking place in Jerusalem. Can I tell somebody something? I said, though you're sinking deeper, in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Come on, you may be staying and sinking deep within, sinking to rise no more. But let me tell you something tonight. There's a master of the sea that can hear your despairing cry, and from the waters, he will lift you and make you safe. Hallelujah, glory to his name. Out of Moab, she heard the good news taking place in Jerusalem because God don't neglect his people. Can I speak to somebody tonight? God don't neglect his people. And she heard that now in Jerusalem, God is now giving them bread. But she's sitting in Moab and she's saying, hey, I can't remain here without an inheritance. I have a place back home. Uh, can I speak to somebody now? Somebody that have wandered far away from God. Hallelujah. Now is your time to come back home. Now is your time, hallelujah, to return to the land of Jerusalem where bread is. Can I speak to the church of God tonight? If anybody have slipped away, if anybody tonight, any of our visitors, of our guests has lost hope in God, hear now, O Israel, that bread is given out in Jerusalem. There is bread. There is water. Come on for your soul tonight. She heard she said to her daughters-in-law, I am heading back home. Oh, glory be to God. Praise the name of the Lord. She's heading back home. And now she began, let me just hurry up the narrative here. Thank you very much. She packed her Georgie Bunga and she began to head home. She heard that there is no food home. And why I sitting here in this place full of idols? Oh, come on, somebody. I know the God of heaven. She said, I'm going to shake them off. And I'm going to head home where there's bread. Where the true God of heaven is giving off bread. And as she begin to walk, as she begin to walk many miles now. I got the water already. Thank you. Bless the name of the Lord. She begin to walk many miles. And I as she reached to the border or where she could have seen the mountains of Jerusalem. She turned now and she watched her daughter-in-laws. She said, hey, uh, here is far enough where you have to follow me. In that new land where I'm going. Oh, come on, somebody. I can't give you anything there. So now is a good time to turn back and go home. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And the Bible says they all wept. Uh, come on somebody they begin to cry and said why are you leaving us here? Uh, that was a good mother-in-law. I'm looking for some good mother-in-laws in the house tonight. Come on gentlemen. Hey, 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 hey. There are some good mother-in-laws. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And as the good mother-in-law would, she tried to give them good advice. She said listen me. You're from the land of Moab so stay right there. Uh, come on somebody. Because if you come to my land, uh, we may not not have anything to give to you. After all, I came to Moab. It was full. I came with sons. I came with husbands. But now I am going back home empty. I have no husband. And all I have is two of you all. It's best you go back home and find yourself a husband. Uh, there were two of them. Hallelujah. One the name Orpah and the other one was Ruth. Amen. Somebody say bless the Lord. Say offer and root. Say offer and root. 
Well, upon hearing this, they begin to cry because of how good of a mother-in-law she was. Amen. Uh, you know when you get a good mother-in-law. Amen. Hey, come on, church. Smile. You know when a good mother-in-law in the house. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And as she told them go back home, they begin to weep. But one of them named Opa. Oh, come on, somebody. She said, you know what? You're giving me good advice. Amen. So she, you know what? She said, I'm going to take your advice. And I'm going to go back home. Glory be to God. As I looked into this, sometimes it's good to tell people, now follow me. Oh, come on, somebody. It's good sometime to tell some people, I don't need you anymore. And see their reaction. Come on, somebody. Sometimes it's good to, to examine people and test them in a kind of way. Because true worshipers, the Bible says, is what God is looking for. I'm saying not all the company that follow you sometimes is good company. There are people, hallelujah, that would follow you for a time. There are people people that would follow you for a journey but glory be to God when the testing time comes only the true ones will stand the glory be to God and offer said I will turn back ladies listen up now there are some men that may come around you they come into your life for a little season but test them glory be to God give them the test hallelujah and see if they would stick around some men when you ain't give them nothing they turn back continue to stand on the word of almighty God if they love you they will wait. Oh, glory be to God. If they love you they will wait. Young people listen up now. The word is for you. Say not this year. Say not this year. Not this year. If they love you they will wait. They will wait till they are married. <laughs> Because my Bible says, hallelujah, uh, my, my wife's favorite memory verse, what it says, hallelujah, oh, glory be to God. I know your favorite memory. Marriage is honorable in all things, and the bed is undefiled. But homongers and adulterers, God will judge. So if he love you, listen up young ladies now. If he love you, test him, say, I'm not giving you nothing. If he stands up and follow you, glory be to God. My Bible says, beauty is vain. Favor is deceit. But a woman that fears the Lord, she is to be praised. Not this year. Not this year. If you have been giving it up. Oh, glory, I've been a real preacher now tonight. Hey, tell them not this year. I want to walk in the paths of righteousness. I want to walk with my Savior. I want to talk with my God. Not this year. Come on. You have been doing the wrong things all along. But tell somebody, not this year. Oh, come on, somebody. I want to walk with my Savior. I want to talk with God. He's soon to return. And he will come back, hallelujah, to judge this world. If you have been stealing... Not this year. If you have been telling lies, not this year. Whatever that you have been doing that is wrong. Oh, come on. No, I'm not saying turn to your neighbor anymore. But talk to yourself. It's yourself. It's yourself. Not this year. Not this year. Ah, glory be to God. Clap your hands as well. Oh, ye people. And my Bible says that the test went down and off a turn back. She went back to her idols. She went back to her gods. She went back to her lifestyle. She went back to her worship. But there was one, glory be to God. There was one who was root. And uh, let me go back to Orpha quickly. Uh, the Bible says that and they lifted up their voice and wept. And Orpha kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth Clave. You see, sometimes the kisses uh, deceive you. Glory be to God. Some people have some sweet lips. Can I speak to somebody in the house? Some people have some nothings coming out of their mouth. 
Sweet nothings. Yes, Mr. Drummer, you know it good. Sweet nothings. And they're good with the lips. Hallelujah. But my Bible says, uh, in vain do they worship me. Uh, oh, come on. They give off their lips, uh, but they don't give off their heart. Uh, oh, forgive of her lips. But she didn't give off her heart. So she kissed the mother in law. And she went back. But there was Ruth, Sister Corey. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There was Ruth now. She didn't do no kissing. She hold on. Oh, come on, church of God. You see, when you want something really bad, you hold on with your dear life. You hold on not just with your hands, but with your feet. And for some reason, Naomi could not get rid of Ruth. Ruth saw something in Naomi. And this is the life of a believer. When you live a kind of life, there are people that would follow you even if you have nothing to offer. Amen. Naomi had no money. Naomi had no children. Naomi had nothing, but all she had was the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory be to God. Can I talk to the people of the house tonight? Can I talk to young men? Are you with me? Can I talk to the young women? Are you with me? You see, I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. I'd rather have Jesus than riches untold. I'd rather have the Holy Ghost to fill me up because if it's one one thing I need is the Holy Ghost in my life. And my Bible says now, hallelujah, that uh, Naomi couldn't get rid of Ruth. Verse 15 says, and she said, behold, thy sister-in-law has gone back and her people, unto her people, sorry, and unto her gods. Return thou also thy sister-in-law. After thy sister-in-law means go back with her. And verse 16 says, And Ruth said, Entreat me not. Ruth said, Entreat me not. Or to return from following after thee. For whither? Wherever you go, I will go. Come on, somebody. You talk about committed people now. This is the kind of people you need for this year. Oh, glory be to God. I'm saying this journey going to be rough. This journey going to be tough. Not everybody could ride this ship now. This wave getting tall. This journey getting rough. But my Bible says, this woman said, Oh, glory be to God. Whether thou goest, I will go. Where thou lodgest, oh, glory be to God. I will lodge thy people. Now this is getting somewhere now. She's not just saying oh, I'm going to follow you. But she said even your people shall be my people. Come on. That is deep you know. She was willing to change her nationality now. Oh come on somebody. There are some people who are locked on to husbands. There are people that are locked on to wives. There are people that are locked on to family. There are people that are locked on to relationships. Can I speak to somebody now? There are people that are locked on and therefore you can't let that go. But my God, what shall separate you from the love of Almighty God? She was willing to let go her own people. Oh, glory be to God. She was saying here, well, I'm going to change my nationality. But even deeper than that, this is what this is what Ruth said. Oh, glory be to God. And thy God, oh, glory be to God. And thy God.
God. Hallelujah. Could somebody worship me tonight? Worship with me tonight. And thy God will be my God. Oh, glory. That is serious commitment. You have believed in Baal. You have believed in your own ways. But now you're willing to let go your religious system. Your own belief to follow on. I'm saying this is commitment. And she went even further. Verse 17 says, Where thou diest, my Bible says, and there will I, she said, where thou diest, will I die, and there will I be buried. I need some committed folks, folks that are sold out, folks that are only focused on the kingdom of God. Now ain't no time to have jokers following you around. Now it's time to have people that are full of the Holy Ghost, that are thinking about the kingdom of God. Now in season for jokers, not anymore, said not this year. No jokers this year. Hallelujah. The waves too high. The wind too strong. Oh, come on, somebody. I need commitment. Hallelujah. Where I die, there I go die too. And where they bury you, bury me next to you. People of God, listen to me. This walk ain't, ain't no jokey walk. This is a serious commitment. And listen, man, Ruth was made up. Oh, come on, her mind was made up. She was sold out for God. She was sold out to this journey. I'm saying this year, it's, there are some hills and valleys in this year. Oh, come on, coming up against the church. And right now, you need commitment. Right now, you need people that are true. They are hard to find because there are many like Orpha that would turn back. But stay committed. Wait where you go, I will go. And where you die, I will die. I'm saying not this year. All the jokers must get off. But God Almighty, you see, I'm moving up the upward way. New heights, I'm gaining every day. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm not about to turn back. But forward ever, backward never. The Lord will must be done. Not this year. This is a new year. The month of Abib. You better tell your neighbor. You tell, better tell your husband. You better tell your spouse. You better tell your, your fiance. Whoever is not this year. Forward. Forward. Come on, young people. You better go to school tomorrow morning. And you better tell the jokers that are around you. Young men, listen up, Mr. Kimuel. If you lie with wrong jokers, tell them not this year. Serious business. God got a work for you to do. Come on, come on, come on. God is looking for serious people. My Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. But just need you to be committed. hundred, let your needle stick on a hundred tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, when this lady was done, I said Naomi couldn't do nothing else. She had to return with Ruth. Turn your Bibles with me as we end this. To uh, Ruth chapter 4. Hallelujah. Uh, the last chapter of Ruth. I'm going to tell you something. Whatever you do, it doesn't go unrewarded. Can I speak to somebody? Whatever you do for God does not go unrewarded. She locked on to Jesus. She locked on to Ruth. Oh, come on, somebody. She saw the spirit of God in Naomi. And I'm telling you, oh, she followed all the way. And Ruth came to a land that she had nothing. All she moved on was faith. Can I speak to somebody tonight who just moving on faith? Your gas tank empty, but you're riding on faith. Your bank account empty, but you're riding on faith. Oh, come on. You're moving on unstable water, but you're moving on faith. I'm saying God will work it out this year for you. In the book of Ruth chapter 4, uh, let me just take uh, from verse 21. And I want to show you something. The Bible says, and Salmon 
born begot Boaz. Who was Boaz? Boaz was the man now. When Ruth get down into Jer Jerusalem, down in Judea, amen, they awaited her a blessing from Almighty God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. She just walked by faith and not by sight. I need some people in the house tonight to just walk by faith and not by sight. As she moved on now, she walked up to a man called Boaz. Oh, glory be to God. Where is your Boaz tonight? Young single ladies, I'm saying God prepares for you everything that you need. I don't hear no amen. I say, God prepares everything you need. Single ladies in the house, listen to me. Don't give up. Wait on Almighty God. He knows the desire of your heart. And as Ruth went down, she went down empty. But God had prepared for her a Boaz. And my Bible says in verse 21, and Solomon begat Boaz. Boaz then went to marry Ruth. But hear what comes up now. And Boaz begat Obed. And Obed begat Jesse. And Jesse begat David. That is King David for your word tonight. That is the king of Israel. The man after God's own heart. I'm saying when God prepares a way for you, he will pave it. He make it nice and smooth for you. Don't worry, don't worry. There may be bumps on your way. But the end result, hallelujah, God has it all planned out for you. Stick with God this year. I implore you, I encourage you as I end this message today. Ruth became the great grandmother, should it be, of King David. Hallelujah. Out of Moab, out of a place, uh, oh God, repeat, oh God, out of a place of idols, God brought her to a land. And turn her to be the great grandmother of the King David. And it's not just King David. Oh, let me go a little further. As I get this bubbling into my soul. Oh, glory be to God. As this bubble in my soul. Let me tell you tonight. When the angel visited Mary. He told her, listen me. You shall bear a son. And thou shall call his name Emmanuel. And he shall sit on the throne of his father David glory be to God a blessed night in Jesus name not this year come on beloved. come on beloved brother let's praise the Lord beloved not this year beloved come on beloved we can do better come on give God praise beloved not this year beloved no matter what your plight might be, not this year. God is able to take us out of whatever situation we might be in, beloved. Hallelujah. Not this year. This year is a year of renewed mind, your new spirit, renewed of heart. For we to worship our Savior. Amen. Blessed be the name of Almighty God. Hallelujah. I don't want to add too much to the pastor's message. Just going to take it as it is and give God praise for it. I know that it has touched our hearts tonight. I know it has really sinking deep. And I pray God's going to bless him to continue to preach his word. And I pray that God is going to bless each and every one of us. Amen? Before, before we have our closing song, we dismiss because time is fast spent. Just a short bit of announcement. Amen, amen. Not this year. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I, I didn't have a topic for the message, but it came right on spot. And we thank God tonight for that. Amen. Amen. Let me just encourage everyone this year that coming this Sabbath is a new season for many. Amen. amen. And it is your season as well. So I'm in taking the opportunity tonight to invite every single one of you tonight that is here. Those that are viewing us online as well. We have a guest speaker that is coming from the UK. 
Ah, he has some fire. Oh, glory be to God. I usually sit in awe when I listen to this man. And how he would be here this week from Sabbath coming. And I want to invite one and all. Don't miss a night service. Don't miss a Sabbath coming. It's going to be packed. It's going to be on fire for God. Because I can tell you this. I even feel it from tonight in my soul. So I want to invite everyone that is in the house. Come out from this Sabbath for one week. From this Sabbath, hallelujah. Uh, Evangelist Kendall Cadet out of the UK will be here. Amen. Uh, and I want to say tonight, he would not come alone because along with him would be coming our senior bishop uh, out of New York, Pastor Wayne Moore. He will also be here uh, from this coming Sabbath as well. Amen. It's going to be a packed service. Come get your seat because I'm telling you, the house, the roof will be off this building. But Iran, I think we have to get some reinforcement for the top up there because um, I believe the roof might have some uh, so the integrity would you know something might happen so let's take some precautions this week we might have to go up and nail along a little bit there. amen praise the Lord Glory be to God. So I'm inviting one and all this coming week. Uh, also tonight, our senior bishop, Pastor Wayne Moore, he sent his love and his greetings to the church right here in Bethel. They are all locked on on the live. Sister Morgan and uh, Sister Moore and all the rest, even Evangelist Cad Cadet. He's somewhere about uh, 3 o'clock in the morning now or 2 o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning, and he's there locked on to the service as we speak. Amen. So they all send their love and their greetings to the brethren, and I needed to convey that tonight to you. Amen. Bless the Lord. Enjoy the rest of your night. I know the deacon will uh, give you more information with regards to what takes place after the service. Bless the Lord, beloved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we going to have that? Closing song that Brother Khalil stole, but good keeping. But that was my closing song. That was my closing song when I crossed. But that was my closing song. So we'll have, but before that, when we have closed off, there is a slight refreshment <laughs> where we're going to partake of. The sisters is going to share it. There is a bandy outside. So I'm going to get something to make sure before you leave, a little morsel. For you to munch on. Amen? Before you leave. So we're going to stand and we're going to have that song. To close. That brother Khalil took. I ain't going to say steal. Took. Uh, well, borrow. That was, my closing, that was my song to close. And then we have a, a closing prayer. Amen? Bless the Lord already. Already? Already? Take it away. God is my key. God is my key.
Lazarus, I encourage each one of us to hold on to the end. Amen? So if we end, let's remember all was said and done, but the main thing, let's hold on to the end in Jesus precious. Amen? So let us pray. Eternal Father, our God, we give you praise and thanks even now, mighty God, for tonight. We thank you, mighty God, for everything that was done and said. We pray, we thank you, O God, for keeping us safely through another year. And bringing us here tonight where we can lift up your name, almighty God. Father God, we thank you for your word tonight. We ask, oh God, that you will help us, oh God, that fire is going to resonate in our hearts and our minds so we can live a life that will please you. Not this year. Whatever problem we might be going through, not this year. But in the name of you, let's make a declaration in our lives tonight that, Father, that we are going to live a life that will please you, Heavenly Father. Father, we know the challenges, almighty God. We know the obstacles. But, Father, we pray and ask, O oh God, that thou will help us, O oh God, that we that become an overcomer. And help us, O oh God, that we can live loving one towards our mighty God. Yes. Father, we pray, O oh God, as we are about to leave this place, that thou will go before us, mighty God, that this message will reach us blessing, but not from your presence, mighty God. We want to thank you for all who stopped by here tonight to worship you, O oh God. Even the special of visitors, mighty God, we pray and ask, O oh God, that the words, O oh God, will resonate in their hearts, O oh God, so they can think about giving their lives to you before time is over, mighty God. So we give you thanks, we give you praise. Dismiss us now with your richest blessing. We ask that you guide us and lead us over. Take us to our various homes safely and bring us back another time we can continue to give you all the praise that is due unto your matches and holy name. We give you thanks, we give you praise. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Have a pleasant night, beloved. In Jesus hold name. on, hold 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 on. I am determined to hold on to the end. I am determined to hold on to the end. Jesus is with me on him, I shall depend. I know I have salvation. We're down in my soul, but I am determined to hold on to the end. Everybody hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody hold on, hold on, hold on. To all my guests, I am determined to hold on to the end. I am determined to hold on to the end. Jesus is with me. On him I can depend. I know I have salvation. Wait on me, so I am determined to hold up. Everybody say, say not this year, 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 not this year, not this year. Hey, I am determined to hold on to the end. So I hold it on for me life. Holding on to Jesus Christ, said I'm holding on for my life. Yes, boy, you jump like pastor. No. Hey, Jesus Christ, hold on, hold on. Say I'm holding on for my life, and I'm holding on to Jesus Christ. Said I'm holding on for my life, and I'm holding on to Jesus Christ. Everybody holding on.
the Lord. Hallelujah. I say to God be the glory, great things that he has done on the island of Antigua and Barbuda where we held a convocation 2023. That was a resounding successor. We saw soul being saved. We saw uh, the children of God accept Christ as Lord and personal Savior. A revival have breakthrough on the island of Antigua and Barbuda. We are looking forward for Tobago 2024. Hallelujah. All roads lead to Tobago. I'm inviting one and all. Uh, please uh, see you on the island of Tobago. Lego in Jesus name Antigua and Barbuda, where we held a convocation 2023. That was a resounding successor. We saw soul being saved. We saw